Hello everybody, um, I just thought I'd quite like to do a different video today, just a sort of one-off, rather, well, I thought we'd just get away from the cancer for one week, and I thought it might be interesting for you to see what things we did keep of Charlotte's. Um, we didn't keep a huge amount, um, we kept a bit more than this, but uh, I just thought I'd show you a small selection of what we actually kept and why we kept them. Um, one of the first things that I kept was peas in a pod. She was always very, very keen on Disney, along with Monty, who Miles bought for Charlotte uh, Christmas 2014. He's a bit ragged now, I think he's got a hole in him, but um, that was one of her favourites. Another one, when she was first admitted into hospital with her cancer in July 2013, we had this which she took to King's College Hospital and inside this was from the matron at her old school which just basically says good luck and stay strong and we weren't allowed to open it until Charlotte had had her biopsy. These two gifts we kept, they came from friends of hers in America who very kindly sent them over. This is a necklace and a bracelet. And this is a really nice Disney pen, which she uh, got from somebody I think she knew over Instagram. And we've hung on to that. Another of her treasured was Tracy Beaker. And she went with her dad to see that many years ago. And that was the program from it. These two very treasured. They're the last items that Charlotte ever bought for Christmas and I remember she bought them, I think it was an accessorise last year and uh, it was virtually the last time we went to town and in fact she was so poorly that she fell over in the shop and had to be helped up. This we kept, this was from when she was in brownies and she actually got quite a few badges so she was only little at this time, I think five or six, but she managed to complete some of the activities. This I've never managed to part with. She bought this in Topshop. She wore it a couple of times. It's not actually as heavy as it looks, but um, I've always wanted it. I've always kept this. Toy Story again. Obsessed with Toy Story. These are just a small selection. And also the aliens again, couldn't throw these away. This was the watch which I gave her for her 18th birthday. Unfortunately, a year later she was no longer with us and she didn't manage to wear this very often either. Treasured item, a tiny little pair of socks. And uh, in fact these were knitted by my mother, so they were hand knitted when she was a lot smaller and uh, we've always hung on to them and I think Miles also had a pair beautifully knitted. And both Charlotte had very kindly bought me a Lynx of London Pandora bracelet. I just can't wear it anymore and hers is in there so both of our Pandoras are together. These are going to be for Miles. <laughs> She bought these and uh, she treasured them. She bought them, I think, about a year ago. And this is the other one. These miles is going to put in his room. This always hung on her door of her bedroom. And it was very true, very apt, I think, for Charlotte. This was a present which Miles bought back from Italy once. You can see he must have spent a load of money on this. <laughs> I don't think this was tremendously expensive. Which is it? It is. I think it's a necklace which she never wore. I, I don't why. know why. <laughs> this is a tiny little photo album of a holiday we went on in Greece. And these were all the little photos which she took and she put that in her own album with a cat of course. This was another album she made, this was a holiday we had in 2014 at Centre Parks 
and she's got some lovely pictures in there. Again, she took them all with one of the instant cameras. And this was from her very dear friend Emily. Always hung on to that. Just about being good friends. Thank you for that, Emily. And I think uh, the clothes that were kept weren't very many. This she wore to Miles's 21st party. And uh, I'll try and put a photo of her in it. It's just a on the top there. I couldn't part with that. All her clothes I had to sell on eBay, so it was more than emotional. But I only just kept three things. This was worn at her 18th birthday party and she looked absolutely stunning in it. It's a pair of canops. And the iconic one which she wore for the BBC interview again. I could never get rid of this very lovely dress. And then I think I've got two treasured items. This I hope one day Mars will have his children and he'll put his children in this. It's a tiny little Paul Smith t-shirt. I bought it when Mars was about one or two and Charlotte wore it as well. It's very, very treasured this. And hopefully it will pass on down because it's still in quite good condition. Um, when she was very poorly back in 2013, she started making something to keep herself going and it's actually called No Bad Thoughts and in it I've only just discovered in the last 10 minutes that she'd actually, this is the front of it, I think this is very apt to read and um, I can read it to you. My name is Charlotte Eads, I'm 16 years old. I have a mother called Alex and a father called Terry and an older brother called Miles. My best friend is Andrew, he's also my boyfriend. I'd be lost without these four people in my life, they're everything to me. On Thursday the 18th of July 2013, I was diagnosed with a brain tumour. I later discovered that the tumour had spread to my spine. It was cancer, it's changed my life forever. I will make something good of having this cancer. I will show others that it is not at all bad. I choose to live life to the full and love every second on this earth, good or bad. And I think that certainly summed her up and what she did in this book was she was just putting anything that she thought of. You have to fight through the bad days to earn the best days of your life. When life kicks you, let it kick you forward. And she just stuck pictures in and just a word. And this is so treasured. And as I said, I only just found those words 10 minutes ago when I was sorting things out. Anyway, it just gives you a little insight into what we actually have kept, I have got a few more pieces, but they're a bit more personal, so I think we'll leave those. But um, hopefully next week we'll be back on to discovering what happened to Charlotte in 2014. Hope this has been an insight. Thank you for watching. Bye.